I know some of you can speak in Hindi, right? And some of you speak very good, and I'm very sure of it. Now, one of you tell me, how have you managed to learn Hindi? Do you practice Hindi at home? What was the question? Seat. Thank you very much. Have you got my question? I said, some of you know how to speak in Hindi, right? How many of you can speak in Hindi? Raise your hands. Put your hands down. How many of you understand Hindi? Raise your hands. See, most of the hands are up. Now, put your hands down. Now, someone answer me. How have you learned Hindi? In my opinion, I have learned Hindi by listening to Hindi uh, shows and cartoons. That's very good. Sit. Look. He has learned Hindi by listening to the language, right? Do you know any A, B, C, D of Hindi? No. Do you know any basic Hindi grammar? No. But you know the language, right? So listen, remember, you listen to a language regularly and you learn it. It can be even Arabic. It can be any language. For example, if you start watching French movies from today, trust me, you keep on watching French movies from today, two years after, you are going to be fluent in that language. Look, to be fluent in any language, you don't need to know its grammar. This is for sure. Understand? So remember, the reason I have discussed that because most of you don't listen to enough English. Am I right? How many of you listen to English regularly? So a good number of hands are up, okay? Put your hands down. If you listen to English regularly, I am sure. Now, if you have been listening to English for the last two, three years, you must have been pretty much fluent by now. I am very much sure of it. Listening is very, very, very important. Again, what do you listen? That's very good. Sit. Listen. For example, when I speak in Bengali, listen to me very properly, this is very, very important. When I speak in Bengali, I speak like Kaisi Bolsi Kursi. This is how I speak in Bengali. You know why do I speak like that? Because my mother, my father, they speak like this at home. You get me what I'm saying? So, I got my mother and father speaking like Kaisi, Bolsi, Kursi, and as a result, I picked it up. Understand? Now, if my father and mother, if they spoke like Katie, Bolichi, I would have picked up Katie, Bolichi, right? The reason I'm saying all them, listen, the way you listen, the same way you deliver. Is that clear? So when you listen to wrong pronunciation, your brain picks up wrong. And when you start speaking, you speak wrong. Let me give you an example. There's a word, H-E-A-L-T. H Y. Most of the Bangladeshi people, even Indians, 
they pronounce this healthy what do you pronounce that what's the pronunciation of this healthy healthy what is it what do you think 100 person people in our country pronounce this healthy whereas this is healthy yes both both in British and American English this is healthy now what's the reason most of us pronounce this healthy because we have always like kept on listening to this from our elders and they pronounced it like healthy so the way you listened the same way you deliver so this is not your fault now at the end of the day this is very important that you listen to the right sort of pronunciation o f t e n what's the pronunciation is there anyone who would say often anybody who would say often anyone now i personally i am a huge fan of american movies i find many american superstars movie stars they pronounce this often now listen some people explain it this way often is british often is american no there is nothing like that often british often American now there are obviously there are some people in America when they say they find this word being spelled like o f t e n mistakenly they pronounce it like often and that gets established often is a wrong pronunciation now listen listen if you think you watch American movies and all the American movie stars pronounce those words the right way, you will be wrong. Now, what to listen? What to listen? Listen to B, B, C. Now, you get to listen to formal English from B, B, C. Again, I tell you, some of us are in a habit of picking informal English for example what's up now for example Tohasar is very senior to me right he's very senior to me now when I see him suddenly I say like what's up sir your father's friend comes to your house he knocks the door you open the door and you say what's up uncle he would say before it's very simple for me, brother. Then he'll be telling your dad, like, for example, your dad's name is Babu Babu, to for the brother, because he got the WhatsApp. Isn't it? WhatsApp, your teacher. Oh, WhatsApp, sir. Hi, hello. Hi, sir. Listen, WhatsApp is informal. WhatsApp is? I find many people ask a question like this. Hey, how are you? No, how are you? How are you? You are not American hippie. How are you? Now, when you are speaking, you would find many people, you know, restless. How many of you watch wrestling? You know how they talk? Hyper accent. You want to fight with me, bro? Come. It's not come. What, what? Come to me. Come. This is how they talk. Listen. The reason I'm telling you all these things, you exactly need to know what to watch and what to listen to. Otherwise, your accent, the way you talk, pronunciation will be disastrous. In a formal interview session, you cannot talk like you. I'm from Chittagong. Can you? You cannot. They are cognate. What would we listen to, guys? Listen to me. If possible, note it down. We would try and watch BBC every day at least for half an hour. Is that clear? 
what would we do? We would watch BBC or CNN. Either you watch BBC or CNN. Or if you want, you can watch both of them. Done? But watch for at least half an hour. Trust me. You listen and you learn good English. Okay. Any cartoon produced by Disney Production House. Am I audible at the back? I said any cartoon produced by Disney Production House. Those cartoons are absolutely safe and sound for you people. Understand? This is very important. It should not, you shouldn't watch like Chingam ki chungal se bachna yam possible. Hindi is good. I am not saying Hindi is bad. Hindi is good. But we wouldn't try to speak the way Indians speak. Again, Indian accent is very good. Indian people, to be very honest, I am Bangladeshi. I work with them. They are way smarter than us. Fact. Fact. Understand? But when you think about learning good English, you listen to proper English.